to try to fix a bent Ryzen 5 1600. Um, it has a bent pin in it, and we're going to try to fix it using a digital microscope that only cost about 20 bucks on Amazon. So, yep, make sure to leave a like. Let's do this. I'm going to show you guys how to fix bent CPU pins. Um, the first thing that you will need is a digital microscope. This one cost me about 20 bucks. It's very inexpensive and you need it. You have to have one of these to do the job. There's just no ifs, ands, or buts. Um, here's the actual piece of equipment that you'll be using. And then that's the zoom in, zoom out. It has an LED light on it so and it comes with this cool little stand so that way you don't have to hold it if you don't want to it has a driver CD what you'll is what you'll need that's the lens cover to cover that and then this is kind of cool it's a uh, it's a focus so ruler which helps you um, calibrate the microscope which is pretty cool so and then it came with an adapter to go to type C which was awesome so I used the type C adapter to hook up a DVD player so that way you can run the driver disc so alright guys that's what you'll need really you'll just need a digital microscope and then you're gonna need something to physically move the pin with um, I recommend a razor blade something very thin but yet very strong something that has good tensile strength um, because you want your movements to be precise on this um, what you would want to do is you want to try to look down and see the rows of pins make sure they're all uniformed except for that one right there that I can clearly tell um, but anyway in the corner right here we have a pin that is out of alignment um, I'm going to use this to try to see it make sure it's straight with all of its little brothers and sisters around it put it back in alignment and hopefully that's all we'll need um, try not to handle it when you're doing this you really don't want to handle the CPU too much um, also you want to limit the amount of times that you physically correct it. If you move the pin too much to try to correct it, you could take a chance of weakening it while you're moving it and it will snap off because it's already bent. It already has a weak spot in it. So now you're trying to bend it back, which is another thing. When you go to bend it, you want to do very small movements. You don't want to if your pin's bent like this you don't want to bend it all the way back up in one radical motion you could take a chance of snapping it right off and then your CPU is no good onto your options and hit preview and what that does is that opens the, the screen up alright well, options preview yeah okay so you can see how the screen's kind of flickering but anyway what you do is on the cord itself is a switch it's like a roll switch that's what turns the LED on to the camera alright and you need that so if you look see you can see my finger see there, there's the skin the cells isn't that crazy but um, yeah Let's see if we can't see these bent pins now there it is boom zoom in perfect all right oh i messed up right there okay so there you have it there's the bent pin you can see it see how i said there's two of them that are bent it's clear as day that two of them are bent you can clearly see that let's um let's see here i gotta get it straight because we want to be able to see it 
kind of goes off at an angle. See how these are completely almost uniform. That one right there is bent too. It's off a little. And then if you look here, you can see how it goes straight. And then this one, it's like over here. So that's our, um, our actual bent pin, our real bad one. See if you put them in a row, straight line, like that. Okay, so there it is. Nice and bent. Let's see if we can't try to fix it, which is going to be kind of interesting. So, sorry if it wiggles or moves. I can't help that. Alrighty, so we looks like we moved it successfully. The three spots that and it looks straight now. Looks good. Looks like we did a good job. Put it in a nice straight spot. Now the next thing I'll do is I'll uh, I'll take alcohol and I'll just pour it right on it and blow the chip off um, and then let it dry and stuff so that's that's really all that was needed it was just that little push and you can clearly see here where it's like it's good it looks real good make sure to leave me a like if you guys liked it I hope this helps you guys on how you can fix your CPU Please subscribe to the channel and as always you guys be cool and we'll see y'all in the next one later